That someone is poisoning dogs in an area of town and neighbors want to be alert and let other people know about it. Yeah, so this has been going on for years in just one particular part of the valley. The 8 News Now I-Team's David Charns talking with a man whose dog died and now taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, this David. is scary as dog mm -hmm. owners. You know, we don't want this to happen. And whoever is doing this is rolling up poisonous seeds into meatballs and then throwing them into people's yards, killing these dogs. At least four dogs have died over the last several years. More than a dozen getting sick, and now this community wants all this to finally end. Every day, I used to let them out. They had free roam of the, of the yard. Now, we only let them out when we're out here with them. Sean Cornball won't let his dogs out without him, fearing they could eat poisonous balls of meat someone is throwing into yards here in the lakes. I think they're looking for dogs, keeping track of where, where they're at, making a mental note, going back, and then... Throwing, throwing stuff over the wall. The last known dog poisoning happened in November. I think for sure that this guy still is active. Um, maybe not on my my on my street right now because of everybody's looking out for it. Cornwall's network of cameras plus four roving security guards may be deterring this serial dog slayer whose actions killed Cornwall's two-year-old dog several years ago. Now he's hoping to raise money to expand this network, pushing the homeowners association and the city to trim trees and put in better street lights. It's very hard to catch this perpetrator because it seems that he comes and he goes. Councilwoman Victoria Seaman says Metro Police are working the case, but it's a neighbor who may see something out of place that could lead to this case getting closed. We need your eyes and your ears. If you see someone in any area throwing food or something over a fence, please contact law enforcement. Cornwall fears this person may have moved on, moving to another part of town or worse. I seriously think this person is like a psychopath. This is where they start. Birds, cats, dogs, and they work their way up through the progression to humans. Now there is a $10,000 reward to find this person who is doing this. And in addition, Cornwall hopes to raise money on a GoFundMe page. They want to hire a private investigator and put in more of those cameras there. We have a link to that fundraiser on 8newsnow.com. So David, you showed video a couple times of that of that meat. You said there were seeds or something in it? Yeah, so what it is, is uh, it's actually a rodent killer that's a, that's a oh, pesticide. Okay. People use it to kill like gophers and, and stuff, stuff yeah. um, but sadly it can cause a dog to have a really painful death because they end mm. up bleeding internally they have seizures uh, y people find their dogs having these incidents and they bring them right to the emergency vet but you have to be quick yeah. otherwise um, you know we've seen four of these dogs die and this has gone on for quite some eight time. years crazy so now they hope this is the end okay thanks for the update David